Pet nutrition is something near and dear to my heart and I try to make as much of my pet's food and treats at home as I possibly can. If you're anything like me, then you're going to want to stick around for this video because I'm going to show you how to make some homemade, protein-packed treats that are good for both your cats and dogs. protein-packed homemade treats that are good for both your cats and dogs. So I originally found this recipe from Dr. Karen Becker. She had them as uh, fishy beefy bites and I'm gonna make them as fishy turkey bites. So what do we need to get started? We need a sweet potato that we have cooked and mashed. Now I took the skin off of my sweet potato um, there's a lot of nutrients in the skin of the sweet potato, but I found it really difficult to mash up. If you want to put it in the blender, then maybe you can go ahead and um, keep the skin on your sweet potato and keep those extra nutrients. So I've just cooked it and I've smashed it. We're also going to need one cup of ground turkey, one 14 ounce can of uh, Alaskan salmon and an egg. Okay, so I've got my smashed sweet potato in a bowl and as you can see I've already started adding the can of Alaskan salmon. Make sure you get wild caught. Um, it's just better for the fish that way. Uh, also farm raised. Um, you kind of have to be careful about the farming of salmon and well, every animal but um so i'm adding it into my bowl um i also got my ground turkey that i'm adding in to my bowl i'm going to start to mix that up but we still need to add our egg all right now let's go ahead and add our egg all right and our egg is going to help to kind of Start binding everything together. Okay, so I have my baking sheet greased and I have my oven set at 350 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and take my mixture and I'm going to put it on my baking sheet and spread it out. I'm gonna try to spread it into a thickness that's as even as possible all the way across your baking sheet. That way, um, if you can get it the thickness even, then it'll cook evenly. Now, don't worry too much about making it pretty because once it cooks, we're going to, once it cooks and cools, we're gonna break it up into small bite-sized pieces. And what's really great about this is that you can break it into pieces that are the right size for your dog or cat. So, um, for the most part, cats, you, you're going to want to break them in, into pretty small pieces, but you know, dogs are different sizes and uh, my small dogs and big dogs like treats at different sizes because small dogs have tiny mouths, they want small treats. So I can break this up into really small pieces for my little dogs, I can um, leave it in larger pieces for bigger dogs, um, or you can go ahead and break it up into really tiny pieces uh, anyway and use them as training treats. All right, so I think I've got this spread out to about a, a you know, pretty even thickness on my baking sheet. So now I'm gonna take it and put it in my oven, 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake it for 50 minutes. All right guys, we're back with our fishy turkey bites. And uh, so it has baked at 350 in the oven for about 50 minutes, and now I have flipped it over. And this was not an easy task. I will um, tell you. So you might want to put it in two smaller pans, so that might be easier for you. But I just used another baking sheet and flipped it over and then kind of nudged it back into my original pan. So now that I flipped it, I'm going to put it back in the oven um, at 325 for about another 20 minutes. So let's go do that. All right, so now I've pulled the fishy turkey bites out of the oven. 
and um, as you can see I wasn't as good as I should have been and I should have pushed everything up to the edge so I have some burnt pieces around the edge once this cools I'm gonna just cut those off um, and right now I'm just gonna let it sit and cool for probably 30 to 45 minutes I want to make sure it's nice and cool and settled and then we're gonna cut it into bite-sized pieces and store it all right so we've got our fishy turkey bites here and I've let it cool down I took it off the baking sheet and I actually just cut it in half so I have like a double layer here um, so it'll fit on my cutting board a little easier. And now all we're gonna do is just cut it into bite-sized pieces. Now, these pieces are gonna be, um, they can vary depending on how big you want them for your cat or dog. Um, I have small dogs, so I'm gonna cut mine pretty, pretty small. And so once we have these cut, I'm gonna put a couple days worth in the refrigerator um, and then the rest I'm gonna put in the freezer. They're gonna be able to last in the fridge three or four days in the fridge. They're gonna be able to last up to 30 days in the freezer. And so I'm just gonna cut them into, as you can see, like bite-sized pieces here. So now is the real test. Are our pets gonna eat them? Let's give it a try. All right, girls. You wanna try the fishy turkey bites? Who wants them? Let's try them. Oh, yummy, yummy. Do we like them? Yeah? You want some more? Oh, okay. Well, I think the dogs like them. Oh, are you gonna eat some? Look at you. <laughs> hey, you liked it. Okay, so with the fishy turkey bites, we cut them into bite-sized pieces. The dogs liked them, some of the cats liked them. So I'm gonna put a few days worth in the fridge. I'm gonna freeze the rest and pull them out as I need them. They should last about 30 days in the fridge. So there you have it, another healthy and delicious treat recipe that you can make at home for your dogs and cats. Uh, Grain-free, right? We didn't use any kind of grains. And um, healthy, delicious, just don't give this to them too often, um, meaning you don't want to, you don't want this to be the only treat they ever get. Um, there's another video on my channel. You can go check it out. Should your cat eat tuna? And even though there's no tuna in this, we have salmon in this. And, and I explained to you that salmon is much like tuna and that they are carnivorous fish. And um, go check out that video to find out more about why you shouldn't give that to your cats too often. So this is a really yummy and delicious treat. Go ahead and give it a try for your cats and dogs. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what they thought about it. Share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and right next to su the subscribe button there's a little bell. That will give you notifications every time I post a new video. So until next time guys, 